morning everybody and happy new year um, hope you're well hope you had a great christmas and new years just coming to you with cole for the weekly update the first one of 2023 i'm um, just going to take you through a few things that are happening out on the golf course um, and what's happening throughout january happy new year guys from me and the team um, we've had a nice break over kind of christmas and new year so we're kind of fresh and ready to go and ready to smash it again this year um, we've been out doing quite a lot of work uh, this week on the first week back so start with some approaches um, just hand cut 18 again just to try and get into the routine of, of, of hand cutting um, we will be following with the other ones as well just one hand at the moment and um, just waiting for the other two to get grinded up and sharpened um, so we're doing more work for that we've been out with the dew wipe um, and then cut with the fairways so the dew wipe's just knocking off all the worm casts um, just so it's not getting into the reels and rollers and um, making the fairway mower more blunt basically because you can't spray for worms anymore that's kind of what you have to do um, to keep on top of it same with the tees as well get a lot of worm cast so we're switching every day keeping on top of it so we're not smudging when we're cutting um, and just little practices like that um, with the uh, trump greens that we have uh, we've been doing a lot of work so we've been out with the whole time um, trying to remove as much patch as possible also making a little channel uh, for the sand to sit so after the whole time we put the sand down um, and then after that we went for the solid time again quite deep um, this is just trying to get as much air in there um, and just try and make little channels for all these greens to um, drain better um, and so hopefully we'll have them sorted out in the next couple of weeks um, two's made a difference overnight which is, which is really good so it's positive to see the work that we've done uh, going well so we hope to get them all back um, sooner and then this just means next year we've got our own profile now so we'll be doing a little and often uh, much more now so trying to do the ninja times like every kind of um, like week to two weeks um, and if required we'll do it again um, so we try and keep on top of that and also we haven't dressed her in we have to dress a lot more uh, we've reached a good amount of sand uh, this year we really want to firm them up to speed them up uh, and just just uh, try and make them really uniform around the inside we know we don't want them to be slow and um, we want them to be the same um, with the team as well now we've got a great team um, Everyone's um, really on with working hard, so the hand cut will pick up, which I think looks so much better uh, than using the triple. So uh, greens will be hand cut all year round, um, as well as trying to do either team laps, which we haven't decided yet. Also, with um, our sprayer being down, um, we're still waiting for the clutch to be done, so we're using granular instead. So um, we're going to be putting the granular down on Friday, so it washes in quite nicely. Granular is really good because it's like a main kind of main source of feed like sprays are great they're like snacks in between meals but having that granular down is like having a main meal so um, the green should take really well to that and also we're going to be um, putting a granular on our apps and teas so um, we should really notice the difference coming into to Feb. Um, we got lots of work going on in the range as well we want to try and open it sooner than we did last year so Sam's out cutting it this morning um, and with this kind of um, weather being warm um, we, we, we want to get back out there as soon as possible if we find little gaps where we can get them back onto the grass, we will. And then as soon as it drops again, we'll put you back on the mats. But um, we're going to try and try and work out, just try and keep the grass range as long as possible. We want to get into the, the habit of having out as much as possible. And then going back to the bunk as well, uh, Ross will be back in shaping it up. Uh, we're currently just waiting on a generator and a mixer, um, and we're going to be doing it in-house as well. Um, so it should be a really smooth process now. Um, bunkers which would be great. Uh, we've got Henry and Adam and Sam starting their level two college uh, work which would be great so they will be qualified to hopefully by this time next year um, to year course so we um, yeah, wish them all the best and hopefully get it done nice and quickly um, which would be great just a little bit more experience with the team so it would be really good. So great update from Carl and the team. Uh, a lot of work going out on the golf course. Um, we know there's been a few uh, challenges within uh, some of the greens that are out there, but as you can see, the level of work going on to get them much, uh, much better and back in play um, is really good. And it shows how good the golf course is going to be come this winter with the right team, um, with, with Carl and these guys looking after it. Um, just over on the patio now, um, as you can see, a lot of work's taken place over here as well. Uh, guys had a few challenges throughout December, as we all did with the snow and the very cold temperatures. Um, they're going to be back in the next couple of days to, to continue this. It shouldn't be too long before we get this work all nice and completed. Um, 
One of the great things about us um, and Get Golfing is the way that the, the sites are open and for anybody to be able to come in and use them. And I just wanted to share that um, in this message that we get over to you. Um, obviously everybody can come and use, use, use the clubs. And if they did want to come through, whether it be dog walkers, runners, joggers, people just coming to use the club for food and drink um, is a real, real big thing for us and also for, for you. As the way Get Golfing works, the money that's made gets to be put back into to the club and to your club to enhance everything we've got going on. So I would ask if you could share this with any friends that you've got that maybe not be golfers and looking for golf days or memberships or anything like that, but might just be looking for somewhere to go for food and drink um, out there on the patio once this is all complete. Um, especially if so I'm just over on the uh, golf shop side of things and we've got Harry behind me who's just started with us on the, um, the golf side of things this week. Um, Harry's going to be working with us um, on a, on a full-time basis so you're going to see quite a lot of Harry from check-in. He's going to be looking after the tee sheet uh, along with myself and Joe and some other good news as well is we've got Owen who's coming back to us um, while Perford goes through the refurbishment um, of their clubhouse which is a significant refurbishment going on over there which is really exciting. Um, but please come and say hello to Harry, you'll see him on check-in and around the club and he'll be able to help with all your golfing needs, especially when it comes down to the pro shop items. As you can see behind me, we've got a limited amount of, of stock that we keep on site. Um, a lot of people have been asking about the logo clothing that we've got here. Um, it's really, really well priced um, and you obviously get your members discount on top of that. But for any other items that you require quite a few of, or uh, specific in terms of logos and sizes and shoes and bags and clubs, then get in touch with Nick or go to the golf shop um, online. You can order anything you want on there. You'll get your members discount as well um, and it gets delivered straight through to the club. And that's it from us and from me this week. I um, hope that's been helpful. As always, if you can subscribe to this channel, if you can join us on the WhatsApp as well, so you can keep right up to date with everything we've got going on. Um, feel free to send us any feedback, let us know um, your thoughts. Um, you can drop me an email directly, it's david at hamptoncourtgolf.co.uk. Have, have a great week everybody and look forward to seeing you soon.